what is up and welcome back this is law of evolution and you want to farm multi-tool spawn pools and you're probably wondering what the hell i'm even talking about concerning spawn pools in the first place well i'm gonna let you know this is short and to the point number four so we're gonna get right to it so there's a couple things that i need to explain to you very quickly about the mechanics of the game and how the game of no man's sky works just to give you a little bit of insight as to why i'm doing what i'm about to explain to you what i'm doing right okay so in the game of no man's sky you can go and find the structures down on just about every single planet um, that has the multi-tool cabinet that flips down and shows you a nice multi-tool and sometimes it's an S and sometimes it's an A and sometimes it's crap. And uh, what they did here is that each and every planet has its own spawn pool of multi-tools that they show you. You can go down on the planet and you can dip into that spawn pool and kind of check the, the structures to see what you have available but with the introduction of no man's sky next every single space station now has a multi-tool cabinet which makes hunting for a multi-tool and searching for s-class multi-tools so much easier now so much easier for an s-class multi-tool you're really just going to have to system hop and you're going to have to go to each and every space station and check that multi-tool cabinet and see if it's in s-class that's the grindy part of all this that's the grindy part there's no way around it you're going to have to go out there and look for that s class but what i'm going to tell you here today is is that you have the possibility of dipping into the spawn pool of each and every planet and displaying it at the space station to give you more options once you do find that s class so let me show you exactly what i mean by all of this and how do you get the options how do you dip into the spawn pools of different planets my advice is is you're going to want to look for a star system that has at least three planets in it right because that gives you three four different spawn pools that you can dip into so we're going to go ahead and warp in and then we're going to go to the space station and see what's up and we're going to go right inside of here we're going to jump out and we're going to check the multi-tool cabinet right so this is me farming for an s-class multi-tool the only way that there is to farm for it right so it's over here right it's on the right side is the right side yes so we're gonna go over here we're gonna check the multi-tool cabinet and we're gonna see what we have okay so just for the sake of the video um, let's just say that this B class multi-tool was an S let's just say for the sake of the argument I found it this is the S I want um oh my god but i hate this multi-tool this multi-tool looks really crappy i don't like it i want a different multi-tool okay but there's no way to cycle through multi-tools here there's no way to choose so okay i found it right let's just say that this is an s oh my god i found it let me go ahead and leave i'm like oh my god but that multi-tool is crap what do i do um okay so what we're gonna do is go down to a planet right um let's say planet a we're gonna go down to planet a All right, and here I am coming in on a dead planet, it looks like. Um, it looks like it's a dead planet that won't have any structures. But that's what makes this entire process cool, is that even though, right, under normal circumstances, there's no structures on this planet, you wouldn't be able to find the multi-tool cabinet in that habitat structure on this planet. But using this process, you can dip into the multi-tool pool of this planet even though there's no structures here right so that makes it possible to do that so we are going to put down a beacon so we're going to drop a beacon on this planet and i'm going to save right so i'm going to create a manual save that's what that is now i'm not just going to hop in and out of my ship to save it i'm going to drop a beacon and create a manual save on the planet right and so what i'm going to do is go ahead and reload that save that I just created and this is the manual save as you can see right there and not the auto save so I'm gonna reload that save all right and now I'm back right at the save point that I did at the beacon okay and we're gonna go back to the space station okay I just reloaded my save and we're gonna go back to the space station all right and now we got a 
totally different multi-tool which has spawned at the location from the pool of, of planet A. Oh, this is better than the other one. I like it. It's a lot more sleek. You know, it's locked into class B. No matter what you do with the save, it's locked in with class B. Um, I'm like, okay, I kind of like this, uh, but it's still not perfect. Still not perfect. I love that it's S class. Remember, I'm just, just, just for the sake of argument, I love that this is an S class, but even though I cycled this to something different, I don't know. I'm still not exactly too happy. Let's go try a different spawn pool, right? We're good. So we're going to go out, try a totally different spawn pool. That's dope. I'm gonna plan it B now, okay? Different world. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drop that beacon again. Save, manual save. I'm gonna go ahead and reload that manual save, right? The one I just created. All right, and now we're back. We're now here right at our beacon. Let's go ahead and pick that up. We just reloaded our save on planet B. And we are going to head right back to the space station and just see if we can get lucky. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Pardon me. And we look in the multi-tool cabinet and we have a totally different role, a totally different multi-tool from a different spawn pool. Once you have found your S-Class, you've done all the grinding, you actually have located it, you found your S-Class, even if it's an A, and you really just like love the stats and the role that you got with that A, you're like, okay, I love this, um, but I hate the way it looks, you don't like what you see, you can use this process to cycle through the available pool of multi-tools of any given planet in all of these different systems in the all of these 18 quintillion systems that we have to work with right and so just like i was saying before um even the planets that don't have structures and under normal circumstances you wouldn't be able to to look on that planet for a multi-tool you can use this process to still look at the available pool in those dead and, and uninhabited worlds right so that is awesome that is the process that's short and to the point but go out there grind it out find that s class but use this to pick what you want do you want to see more stuff like this from me do you want to see more short and to the point videos well hey man you have to hit that like button subscribe if you want to see more come back no man's sky next is booming much love much love guys thank you for checking it out and i'll see you guys on the next one